Uh, we're done. How do we end a day again? I forgot. Oh, there we go. It's getting dark, so if I go to my room now, I'll be in for the night. Return to the dorm during the evening. Yep, we know this. Stay out and about, enter the dorm. Oh, Reen. Did you just get back too? Oh, hey there, instructor. Welcome back. Well, the building's still standing, so I guess you all behaved yourselves. Excellent. It looks like you've really thrown yourself into helping out the student council, Reen. But you spend all your time working, and life will just pass you by before you know it. You literally gave me... Never mind. Alas, if only my evil stepteacher would stop dumping exactly. a bunch of work exactly. on me and let me go to the ball. Bro, me and Reen. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Have you ever seen me and Reen in the same room? No. Hey, did something happen? You look really beat. Nothing bad. Just been real busy these last couple days. That Toval really needs to learn how to treat a lady. Honestly, dumping that much work on me? Come on, I'm too delicate for that. Who the hell's Toval? Mm -hmm. I guess your hot date didn't turn out so well then? Huh? it did as if a night with me could fall short of unforgettable you're probably not wrong he was just amazing such a gentleman so strong so passionate oh. that was actually really good voice acting <laughs> but i'm afraid all the details might be more than you could handle it's too soon to corrupt your poor innocent heart no no yeah. Green. Oh, for God's sake. No, it's fine. He's got Emma on his mind. I almost want to believe it, but yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Everything okay last night, then? Nothing major happened while I was away? Not particularly. I mean... Oh, wait. Actually, we had a woman show up claiming to be the dorm's new caretaker. Did you know about this? Oh, she's here already? I'd heard that the Reinford family was sending a maid, but I wasn't sure when she'd arrive. Something sure smells good, though. Why, thank you. This is, uh, Paco Rabanne. Oh, I'll bet that's Sharon fixing dinner. No. She's a great cook. She made breakfast for us today, too. Oh, I can hardly wait. This Class 7 gig has some real fringe benefits. I'll have to get her to whip up some snacks to go with my beer later. <laughs> Looks like she knew about Elisa's family after all. Welcome back, Master Reen. Lady Sarah. Oh, hey, Sharon. Good to see you. You can stop with the Master Reen stuff, though. It's not like I'm the one paying your salary. Oh, but that just wouldn't do at all. Politeness toward those I serve is part of the Maid's Code of Honor. <laughs> Or might you prefer something more like, my dearest Reen? Whoa! Not in front of the teacher. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Sharon. I was sent here to serve you courtesy of the Reinford family. I will do my utmost to cater to your every need. I hope I can be of service. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. Though, if you don't mind my saying, you look a little familiar. Are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? Ooh. Huh? I'm afraid we haven't. You certainly don't seem to be an individual one would easily forget. I look forward to serving you, Lady Sarah Valestine. Why, thank you, Sharon Kruger. This feels like a good time to make my exit. No, Reen, this is great! Oh, for God's sakes. Hmm? This looks like... Sister, maybe?
Please don't worry about me. Will I still have much to learn before I feel like I deserve my status among the nobility? I've been blessed with wonderful friends, and I'm enjoying life here at the Academy. I often feel more concerned for how you're faring in your own studies. Thor's Military Academy is well known for its connections to Emperor Dreykel's and its strenuous curriculum. And I worry that the dangers you face in your training could catch even you by surprise someday. I pray you don't neglect your own well-being. The world has many soldiers, but you're my only brother. Aww. Elise Schwarzer. Aww. No. <laughs> <laughs> you never change, do you, Elise? Oh, I guess it's probably me who hasn't changed much. God, whoever's playing that piano is... playing that thing. Oh my god, stop blinding me! Oh. What is it with JRPGs and their flashbangs? <sighs> I really should write back to her. And to mom and dad, for that matter. By the way, those pictures I saw them, they were beautiful art, by the way, but I had no idea what they meant. We'll find out, though. Hey. Misty here, filling your speakers with wit and charm once again. I'm coming to you live from Radio Trista, and it's 9 p.m. on this calm June 20th evening. Let's kick off this week's Aubin time. The weather around the capital has sure been wet lately, but not very wild. I thought that rain would never let up. Thanks to that, I ended up holed up in my room, even on my precious days off. Still, the end of June's just around the corner, which means summer festivals are in full swing across Erebonia. The festival out in the port city of Ordis is known for the breathtaking sight of hundreds of bonfires afloat on the bay. Ooh, are we going to Ordis? In the old capital of St. Ark, they know how to party hard with a festival that keeps going for five nights straight. Going to St. Ark? Unfortunately, I've never been able to get out to either of them. I'm hoping to make it up to myself by taking the train to some far-off destination on my next vacation. Now, where would be the perfect place for this wayward traveler to visit? I'd love to visit Crossbell. Exploring its theme park and seeing one of Arkansas's theatrical performances would be great. But the thought of just riding to the end of the line and taking in the rustic beauty of the Nord Highlands is just so tempting. I know, Director, I know. Uh, is it too much to ask to let a girl dream big? <laughs> exam day, so this is when we fight the, uh... Sarah's toys. <clears throat> I don't know how Becky's name's there. What the hell am I supposed to be looking at? Rex got lost? <laughs> Please don't say that 5... Oh no, that 5.30 is Becky. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, so Rex got lost. Rex is the guy with the, the creepy camera kid. I can't remember who Vivi is. Oh, Vivi's the one who with the twin sister, I remember. Mint, green hair. Fee. Fee then. Fee. Did things. Uh, I can't remember Casper. I can't remember Paula. No! I'm stupid. No! <laughs> what did I get wrong? I could have sworn I'd done really well. No, I'm literally in the stupid half of the bloody school. <sighs> literally below average. You hate to see it. I failed you. I failed everyone watching and all I can do is apologize.
Wait, Elliot got 36? Oh, didn't do as bad as I was afraid I would. Gaius 20th, Laura 17th. Elliot, move your fat head. <laughs> oh, Machius and Emma tied, and Eusus got third. Damn, Patrick's smart, huh? I can't believe Emma and Machius tied for the top score. You know. Congrats, Machius. You always put up some impressive numbers. <laughs> Looks like you made good on your word after all. I suppose. Emma's the real natural, though. Oh, and not at all. We both just really hit those books this last month. I'm glad everyone did so well. You got eight. Well played. Agreed. I scored higher this last time than I did on the entrance exam. I like turtles. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to settle for third this time. <laughs> you make it look easy, Eusis. This was scripted. I didn't get oh, 50 I seconds. I have expected you to score higher than you did. This is this is scripted. That makes two of us, man. It's scripted. It's scripted. It's okay. I didn't do so well either. True. <laughs> you did really well, Fee. True. You must have had all the basics down pretty well to have scored like you did. Oh yeah, let's just all compliment Fee, who literally got 70 second and and mock me. You guys are just fools. Smart fools, but fools. I was expecting a little better performance from a certain someone, though. <coughs> Rain. You cow! What the hell's your problem? What about Fee? She's stupid. <laughs> Guilty as charged. I need to kick my study habits into high gear next time. Why am I so triggered over a fake school score? No! Oh, I love gaming. We'll have to see if we can storm the gates of the Tower of Knowledge, Fee. No, Reen, oh my god, we are so similar. That actually is something I would say. Except I wouldn't say Tower of Knowledge, I'd say Tower of Justice. I guess. If I feel like it. By the way, there's something posted up over there. Oh, wow! Let's go. It seems Class 7 had the highest average score. Excellent! I figure that might be the case, considering we have the Academy's top three high scorers. <laughs> You talk as if a class I'm a member of could possibly fail to place first. Why do you always have to be so full of yourself? <laughs> boys, boys! I think we should be proud of what we've accomplished. Me too. Good work, everyone. Hip hip hooray. <laughs> god, I'm so clever. Oh god, here are the losers. How humiliating! True. How could the pride of the Empire's nobility lose to those plebeians? Hey! And Elisa, thinking she could hide her roots that easily. Oh, that long, luxurious hair is just a thing of beauty. Look at those extras in the back, like... <laughs> oh, God, the two extras who they, they just used the same face for. Poor guys. Well, aren't you all the overachievers? Congrats on your amazing performance on the midterms. I'll cherish that grumpy look on the vice principal's face forever. That'll teach him to poke his nose into my business. We didn't do all that work just so you could stick it to him, you know. Besides, you bring most of it on yourself. Ugh, always tromping around like he owns the place with that smarmy mustache of his. It's one thing to gripe about work, but where does he get off telling me what to wear and how to behave in a bar? <laughs> now he keeps telling me I need to hurry up and get married. Yeah, I'll marry my foot to your face, jackass. Hell yeah. <clears throat> anyway, is everyone ready to leap boldly into this month's practical exam? I'm fully prepared, Instructor. Hmm. I can take whatever task you have to throw at us. Ah, <sighs> well, at least this ought to be easier than the midterms. Oh god, it's back. 
Here we go again. This one looks different from the others. Hold on. Yeah. You noticed too, huh? Yeah. So, we may not be the smartest of the bunch, but we're the... What's the word for it? We're the... We're the alertest. Nailed it. Color's different, shape's different, yet it seems similar somehow. The material. That's what's similar. Maybe... Is something wrong? No. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. I got 12th. No. Here they go again. Oh yeah, those two hate each other for some reason. <laughs> well, doesn't this look like fun? Class one? What are they doing here? Yeah, let's just zoom in on their asses. What the hell is this cameraman doing? To what do we owe the pleasure of this visit? Class one's combat training isn't until tomorrow. Oh, Instructor Thomas's class was changed to a self-study period today. So we thought it was the perfect opportunity for a little cross-class exchange. Look at the guy's face will. on the left. Oh, God. So just empty and soulless. Class 7 seems to be the talk of the school lately. And we'd simply love the chance to get a little better acquainted. E exchange Judging by that rapier in your hand, I'm guessing you're not here to exchange pleasantries over tea and cookies. Nice one. Good one, Reen. My, you're a sharp one, Schwarzer. Nothing gets by you. Why not try your steel against some real human opponents instead of that contraption over there? I'm so down. We'd be more than happy to serve as representatives of Class 1. Allow us, if you will, to demonstrate the refined spirit and dignity of the Erebonian nobility. Ha! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Great job, guys. Great job. You little pieces of... Cool your jets. They're just trying to goad us into a fight. Let's fight them. I'd be very interested to witness this refined spirit and dignity you profess. Well, looks like I found today's entertainment. <laughs> All right, change of plans. Today's practical exam will be a friendly training bout between classes 1 and 7. The fight will be 4 on 4, with both arts and item use allowed. Let's go! Green, you'll be squad captain, so choose three of your classmates for your team. Oh, I already know. R Roger that. Who's Roger? Uh, Babang, Babang, and Babang. I just like the notion of fighting against women. Apparently you just like fighting with them as well. <laughs> Instead you just choose the three most generic faces I've ever seen in gaming. Oh god, look at these three. Alright, this should be fun. It's a man's duty to protect the fragile flowers of womanhood, not to wound them. Reconsider your team, and this time, bring men to face us. Ew. <laughs> Who the hell does he think he is? I'll put a fragile flower on his grave. Nice. Now, now, Fee. Yes, this isn't going to happen until I do as he insists. Whooping me! Oh my god. Wait, what? Huh?
Um. There's no way, right? There's no way. <clears throat> Hold it right there. <laughs> I pre Oh, thank God for that. Hmm. Oh, thank Sounds God for like that. Sounds like the upper class students know that Laura really won't. They probably realize she'd mop the. <sighs> thank God. The things I've said about that. Okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, oh, God, you two are both so average. Go on then, we'll take, we'll take you. Hm. He should have been among the ranks of Class 1 to begin with. I would rather hope a son of House Alborea would need no demonstration of the nobility's refined spirit and dignity. Choose again. You're trolling me. <laughs> One would almost think you're trying to postpone the inevitable. It looks like fighting someone from another of the four great houses might be biting off more than he can chew. Looks that way. Makes me wonder who they won't conjure up some excuse for. Can we just fight? Like, what is the point of this? Well, I'm screwed. I'm just going to lose. I've got Tweedledee and Tweedledum with me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We got this. As long as me and my boy Elliot. Uh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. I'll take that. Um, okay, something like that should be fine. Bro, his spear is insane, though. And his strength is insane, so he's going to hit like a truck. Um... Yeah. No, we need this. Unless he's already got it. No, he doesn't. He's got airstrike and shining. And you're just a tank. This should do. Hopefully. Hopefully this is good. Looks like you're I, all I forgot to save. Frap. Both teams, take your starting positions. <laughs> he may be a fool, but even a fool can be dangerous with a blade in hand. And I'm sure his lackeys are well trained, whatever deficiencies they may have otherwise. You notice too, huh? Make sure you don't underestimate them. Got it. Well, he is a member of the fencing club, after all. <laughs> we'll see how cocksure he feels when we're through with him. Excuse me? Hot sure? That's a word, Machias? The more you learn. Hey. We'll see how Cox Okay. Let's have a good fight, everyone. We'll now begin the training bout between our representatives from classes 1 and 7. Combatants, weapons at the ready! Nice! Begin! Let's do this! 